What's been called the blackest bus in America rolled into Houston today. It is part of the We Got the Power campaign by the Black Voters Matter Fund. The group says they want to engage with black voters on the issues that are impacting their communities. KPRC 2's Brandon Walker is live now in the third ward with a closer look at these efforts. Brandon. Now, good evening to you, Lauren. Those efforts wide ranging from criminal justice reform to other forms of institutionalized racism. Organizers say voting is a common thread through all of this, in particular, who has the right to vote. This bus tour making its way around the, the nation, particularly targeting states with proposed legislation on the table, uh, designed to look at what's called voter fraud, although framers here on the bus tour say it's voter suppression. They go even further to say the legislation, including two bills in Texas, more akin to Jim Crow 2.0. Kicks on the ground, Terrence T.K. Koontz is on a mission. One that starts with the question. Are you a registered voter? We just need folks to get involved. Involvement, says T.K. from the Texas Organizing Project, is crucial in what he and others argue is a war against voter suppression. White voters! White voters! Black Voters Matter, the rallying cry of the bus tour which stopped today in Houston, a drive against proposed legislation in 43 states, Texas included. If we are able to defeat things that are seeking to suppress our vote, like House Bill 6 and Senate Bill 7, and we are able to do things like we're doing today, speak to the voters and let them know how important their vote is, we could have a record turnout that could change the politics of the state of Texas. Election officials should be working to stop potential mail ballot fraud. Governor Abbott facility. this month touted election integrity as the reason behind SB 7. The bill would ban 24-hour voting, require a doctor's note for curbside voting, and outlaw mass mailing of vote-by-mail applications. We cannot stand for it. Yet critics say Governor Abbott and the GOP are using legislation to limit the rights of black and Latino voters with a bullseye on Harris County. In the year 2021, there is no reason why there should be laws or any type of anything and put in place to prevent anyone from voting, no matter what the situation is. You gonna be able to make it? The crux of the canvas. The only way we can make the changes we need is for you to register, for you to use your vote. Eugene Howard, president of the Brazoria County chapter of the NAACP there. This tour, speaking to people in communities throughout Houston, we spoke to Mr. Howard at CUNY Homes in Third Ward. The tour then made its way to the north side. At 5.30, it makes its second to last stop here at the Turkey Leg Hut, where there will be a concert and also more information, more literature to pass out to those in attendance. Live in Third Ward, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News. Brandon, thank you. We're